Here's a quick demo of the basic components of an electrical circuit. This will help us both with prob uh, troubleshooting circuits that exist as well as creating circuits ourselves. So the basic components we have, I'm going to demonstrate with just these few parts here. This is a battery, which is a power source, which is the first item on our list. You need a voltage source, which all it is is basically a potential difference between two points. Here's a 12 volt battery that has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. The difference, the voltage potential difference between the two points is roughly 12 volts. It should be slightly more with a charged 12 volt battery. Uh, but all you need is a voltage source, just something to provide power to the circuit. Um, the next item is a load. You cannot just connect a, um, a wire directly from one end to the other of the battery or else bad things happen, such as a fried wire. Some people refer to this as letting the smoke out of the wire. So you need a voltage source, a load. Um, I'm gonna use a light bulb. This is a 12 volt automotive light bulb. Usually the positive connects here. It goes through to one of these wires and then it goes across a very fine um, twisted wire that is called the filament. That filament is a, is a resistor it is it resists the flow of electricity so it makes it hard for the electricity to get through therefore it heats up and gets hot and in fact so hot that it glows brightly um, thank you Thomas Edison for experimenting a thousand times to give us the right filament type so that's our load you need a load to limit the the flow of current then you need a path is the next item which and the path needs to be complete so it needs to go from the positive through the load back to the negative so to um, to make that <clears throat> I could make a simple circuit by connecting a wire this is a conductive path it's copper wire connected to um, little metal test alligator clip leads I'm going to go positive from the battery to the bottom of the um, light bulb here then from the body section of the light bulb there back to the negative terminal of the battery. Once I connect those two points, this will be a complete circuit. If I connect <clears throat> the positive to this bottom terminal of the battery and the negative to the side of it, we have a complete electrical circuit. There's a complete path for the electricity to flow through. The fourth thing you need is um, to match the ratings of your components and your wire. The wire needs to be sized appropriately so it's thick enough for the amount of flow, current flow, that you're going to have running through the circuit. If, in other words, if the wire is too small for the current that you're flowing based on the load you have and the voltage source that you're providing, you will end up frying the wire because it will not be able to carry that much current. So the fifth thing we would need would be a fuse or breaker. Technically, this is a complete circuit once this is connected here, but uh, to protect the wire and the components and the battery, the voltage source from an overload, you would use a fuse like this or like, like this type of automotive fuse. Both um, are used in multiple situations. Um, you would use a fuse which is basically a very thin conductor. There's a teeny weeny wire inside this glass tube that is, it will only withstand so much current and no more. When, it, when you put more than that much current through it, that piece breaks, the little wire in there breaks instead of the whole circuit breaking. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to hold the connection together with my fingers like so, and then I'll briefly touch the fuse to the battery. It might flash for a second and then the fuse will probably blow. Okay, that was actually so cool a, a uh, thing to see that I reset my camera so you could see it too. See that fine wire in there? That is the, the little element in our fuse that will blow if the current gets too great. So watch, watch that little wire filament in the fuse when I make this connection. See it bending like that? It's bending like that because the metal, the little wire is heating up to the point that it is flexing and bending. And 
apparently that light bulb is not quite enough flow for that fuse to completely blow but you can see that it's getting very very close if I could increase it just a little bit more it would actually blow that's pretty cool okay I replaced the light bulb in the um, circuit to be a higher power light bulb so it'll 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 uh, allow more current flow so we will actually see the fuse blow this time we've got the camera on slow-mo here so hopefully we'll pick it up here it goes boom you saw it blow that section right there disconnected it it uh, overheated and blew so that's better that that section that fuse blow and you can replace easily replace the fuse rather than having to replace all of your wiring and your um, components and possibly the power source from your system